Hi, so I have a confession to make. Um, when I do repeats in Illustrator, I'm still pretty old school. Uh, I know Illustrator has a whole pattern function where you can do really cool things and make your repeats kind of in a simpler way, but um, up until a few months ago, I was still pretty much doing it the old fashioned way, which is um, I have an artboard here that's 6.31 and so I would kind of work around the edges and then select select everything and then I would push enter and write 6.31 in the horizontal and 0 in the vertical and copy and then that kind of brings it to the other edge and then I do the same thing in the vertical enter 0, 6.31, copy, and then sort of fill in the blanks right here to make it a full repeat. And that's how I was doing my repeats before. And if you're still kind of old school like me, I think I'm going to try to start getting into the pattern tool for real. But if you're still old school, but you want to kind of get a little bit, have a little bit of a trick, um, I learned this new trick recently and, and I really love it. So I just wanted to share it with you. And basically this only works for if you have a square repeat. Um, but what you can do is go to edit preferences and general. And usually your keyboard increment is set to like 0.01 or something like that, which just kind of nudges. And this is basically what your arrow key does. So, Usually it's something small and then when you select something and you push the arrow key, it kind of nudges it along. But when you're working on a repeat, you can push the dimensions of your repeat, which in this case for me is 6.31. Then you can select the whole thing, control C for copy, control F for pasting the copy in front, and then right arrow key brings it over and does the same thing as what I showed you before. So control C, control F, and now I'm going to push the down arrow key. And I'm going to go in and fill in all this stuff right here. And that is, you know, a three keyboard stroke um, situation rather than having to stop and type in the exact number. And, you know, as I'm going along and if I put, you know, a new icon here, um, then it's just a lot easier for me to, you know, kind of control C, control F, and then push down, and that filled in that little blank, and now I can continue filling in. So I just wanted to share that little trick. If you're still old school like me, um, that is a good way to speed up your process.